What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. I have been wanting to share my Blu-ray and DVD collection with you guys, but to be totally honest with you, I have way too many to do that all in one video. And if I were to do it by by letter and do it, you know, alphabetically that way, I thought that that some some videos would be way too long, some videos would be way too short. So I kind of came up with an idea. So let me see how this works. All right, so there it is. As you can see, I have a pretty significant DVD collection. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do it by section. Let me show you what I mean. So my DVD collection is not all just horror movies. It's all horror movies for the first three rows going down. And then the fourth row runs to right about here. And then I have a couple sections of trauma movies. So what I'm going to do is I am going to focus on row one section one which is right here so let's get to it all right first up we have abraham lincoln vampire hunter this is a really good movie if you haven't seen it you ought to check it out uh i remember when that movie came out there was a reasonable amount of hype around it but not a ton and when I finally, I didn't go to the movie theater and see it, but when I did finally see it on blue, on that Blu-ray, I was very pleasantly surprised at the quality of that movie. Next up we have Abraham Lincoln versus Zombies. Apparently these guys jumped on the Abraham Lincoln craze. That first movie was pretty darn solid, so I've, you know, these guys I guess jumped on, like I said, jumped on the coat heels of that. All right, let's see. While the Civil War cha while the Civil War rages on, President Abraham Lincoln must undertake an even more daunting task: destroying the Confederate undead. I watched this one too. A lot of these movies I have not watched. I'll tell you straight up. Um, and the ones that I have watched, it's been years. So I'll pick and choose a few of them to read about and let you know about. Um, but we'll take it from there. This movie, back to this movie, this act, this was actually, it was a much lower budget than Abraham Lincoln Vampire Hunter, but this also was pretty fun. I think I got this thing for like $5.99 at Best Buy a couple years ago. Pretty decent. Give it a watch. All right. This one I have not seen yet. Accidental Exorcist. I think that, I, if I'm not mistaken, I watched the trailer for this movie when I was in Best Buy and saw this. That's why I bought it. It was also only a couple bucks, so I figured, what the heck, give it a shot. Still haven't watched it. I have a real bad habit of buying tons of movies and not watching them right away, and they sit on the shelf, and eventually I forget I even have the things. I for, totally forgot I even had that movie. This one is called Acts of Death. I bought this movie when a... Uh, video rental store was going out of business and as you can see I got it for $1.99 I definitely have not watched this movie either um, I have no idea what this is about trapped and tortured sometimes death is is the only relief Baxter University's theater group has a secret club that initiates young freshman girls one, one when one initiation gets out of hand a beautiful actress is left to die too scared to confess their crime, the group tries to get away with murder. But the next night, when the group stays late for rehearsal, it becomes apparent that someone wants them to pay for their actions. How many will die before the final curtain comes down on these acts of death? So it sounds pretty good. From the looks of it, it was uh, reasonably unknown and low budget, but I like those types of movies. So eventually I'll get to that. All right, next up we have Afflicted. This movie is fantastic. I specifically remember buying this movie. This was, I, if I'm not mistaken, was the first movie that I saw on a shelf at Best Buy for a very low price that I knew nothing about. That I actually pulled out, I realized, hey, you know what, I have a computer in my pocket. Pulled out my phone, looked up the trailer, thought it looked interesting. This movie was fantastic. This is about a movie, a uh, guy is sick. Him and his buddy had a, a trip around the world planned or a European vacation, I don't remember specifics of it. But he, he had a, a vacation planned with his friend and then he found out that he was sick. So before he started treatment, they went over to Italy, I believe they went to Italy, they may have gone to France. And while he was away, something happened to him. Um, and without trying to give too much away, they have to backtrack to find the girl that actually Afflicted him. This is this is a really good movie. Check that one out. 
this next group is the first series of movies in the eight films to die for from the After Dark Horror Fest. What year was this? Let's see if I can see them. 2006. So I know for a fact that I watched every single one of these movies when they came out on Blu-ray, or excuse me, on DVD, but that was the only time I watched them. It was 14 years ago, and I don't remember these movies at all. I do remember the first one here, The Abandoned, being reasonably good. I thought that this movie was good. I remember telling a friend about this movie. This one is a haunting movie, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see, or a ghost story, I should say. Okay, an American woman searching for her birth parents learns that she was inherit learns she has inherited a house in the middle of a forest in a remote area of Russia. It is the house where she was born, abandoned and uninhibited for 40 years. It stands at a total despair and neglect. What she finds is more than an old house. She meets a mysterious man claiming to be her twin brother and together they find the house holds dangerous secrets to a past that they don't even remember. They are forced to relive a series of horrifying events and shocking murders that occurred just after they were born and in the and in the place where they were supposed to die. So yeah, this is a, I'm pretty sure this was a ghost story. All right, The Abandoned, pretty good. I haven't seen these movies on sale anywhere in a long time, but then again, I haven't looked. All right, the next one is also part of the After Dark Horror Fest. It's called Dark Ride. Don't remember this movie at all either. Next up, The Grave Dancers. This one I think I remember pretty being a pretty decent movie too. After a drunken night of dancing on graves, a group of friends are haunted by three havoc-minded ghosts bent on revenge. Very short and to the point, but I think I remember this movie being pretty decent. Next we have The Hamiltons. This movie I remember being pretty good too. Let's see. The Hamiltons seem to be the picture-perfect American family. They are hardworking community members, giving to, uh, to their local charities, attending town hall meetings, and always respectful of their neighbors, ex except for the fact that they usually end up killing them. Yeah, this movie's pretty interesting. I remember this being, it's like a, a clean cut, picture perfect American family, but they're all serial killers, if I remember correctly. This one was actually pretty good. All right, this one, Penny Dreadful. If I remember correct, I'm actually surprised I remember this stuff. Penny Dreadful takes place, if I remember, the whole movie takes place in this car. They are trapped in the car, and that guy is on the outside of the car tormenting them. Pretty good. Reincarnation, Death is Only the Beginning. This one I don't remember at all. Uh, from the director of The Grudge, The Grudge 2, Juon and Juon 2. From the director of The Grudge, Grudge 2, comes an eerie tale of a hotel with a terrifying history. 35 years after the slaughter, a film director returns to the scene of a mass murder to recreate the gruesome killings on the film. To that, pardon me. Recreate the gruesome killings on film. As he and his crew step into the now abandoned hotel, the cast members begin to see creepy visions and nightmares. When shooting commences, the cast members begin to suffer very familiar fates. The exact fate that they are to act out on the film. So it sounds pretty good. I don't remember this at all. But it's obviously Japanese, so I'm sure that I probably would like that movie. Alright, Unrest. The cost of medical school may be your life. Don't remember that one at all. If you guys want to read what it says, you can pause the video. I don't want to read every single one of these things. We'll be here forever. All right, unrest. Wicked Little Things, the unrated director's cut. There's the cover of that one. Recently widowed Karen Tunney and her two daughters, Sarah and Emma, moved to a remote mountain home, which Karen has inherited from... Didn't we just read about that? Karen has inherited from the family of her late husband. However, she is a one unaware that her home is situated near an old mine, the site of an early 20th century tragedy in which many children were buried alive. All right, wicked little things. That sounds interesting as well. Borderland. I think I remember this movie being pretty brutal. 
not for sure, but I, that sticks out in my mind for some reason. Let me see. When three Texas University students travel to a Mexican border town on the eve of their graduation, the last thing they expect is to face their own deaths. Without warning, they fall prey to an ancient blood cult hell-bent on finding candidates for human sacrifice. Inspired by a true story, Borderland tells a story which blends raw fear of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre with the stark reality of In Cold Blood, evoking a world of soaked, ev evoking a world soaked in paranoia, fear, and dread. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember this specifically, but for some, something tells me that this movie was pretty brutal. Borderland. All right, that's what it. That's actually the first movie in the second run of eight films to die for, and this one was 2008. So the first series of movies was 2006. This one is 2008. So we have Borderland, and next up we have Crazy Eights. A twisted and dark, big chill, noteworthy cast. Yeah, I don't remember this one at all. I may not have even watched this. No secret stays locked away forever. Crazy Eights. Yeah, no recollection of that one at all. All right. The Deaths of Ian Stone. This one I do think I remember. Uh, let's see. On an otherwise ordinary night, the young Ian Stone encounters a mysterious creature and is forced into the path of an oncoming train. Rather than facing certain death, Ian finds himself reborn into a new life that feels strangely familiar. After his second death, it becomes, the, it becomes apparent that Ian is being haunted by an evil presence and will be forced to die every day until he can solve the mysteries of his own life. Yeah, I kind of remember this. Dude just keeps dying over and over and over. Um, I don't remember. It, it doesn't stand out as being particularly great. But something about this sounds familiar. I think I've seen, I've either seen that or I've seen something similar to that. That sounds familiar to me. This one I actually want to go back and rewatch. I see this movie quite often on um, horror movies, most brutal lists. I have watched this movie. Um, but again, it's been a long time since I've seen this. It's called Frontiers. Gripping and brutal, the French answer to Hostel and Saul, a heart-pounding, uber-violent, and yet thought-provoking horror thriller. All right, this one says, this will be the last one I read. There's, there's only one left. Uh, pardon me for reading so much. I'm glad you're sticking with me if you're still here. Alone in Paris, plagued by deadly race riots, the young and beautiful Yasmine is looking for a way out. In her desperation, she turns to her shady ex-boyfriend, Together with his two thug friends, they pull off a bold heist and head for the border. With the police close behind, they hide out in a seemingly peaceful inn, but the mysterious innkeeper is hiding a secret more terrifying than anything they could ever imagine. Trapped in an endless maze of tunnels crawling with hungry, subhuman cannibals, they must fight to survive their bloody initiation into the innkeeper's evil family cult. I remember this movie being pretty ruthless, but I don't remember the specific details of this movie. And I remember reading on the back of the French answer to Hostel and Saul. That was the reason that I watched this movie. I love Hostel and I love Saul. But yeah, this one's supposed to be pretty uh, brutal. And if you look online at most brutal horror movies, this one's on a lot of those lists. All right, and the last one is Lake Dead. Beneath its calm surface lies the deepest nightmare that one all right I lied I'm gonna read this one to you too this is the last movie so all right Lake Dead three beautiful sisters learn of a long-lost grandfather but only one makes this discovery upon the news of his grisly death enticed by God I can't see even with these glasses on enticed to visit grandpa's old home after hearing of an inheritance the, there's a lot of movies in here about old people or, or young people inheriting houses that they're unaware of. We quickly follow the group of friends through the gates of a redneck infested hell. The psychotic family occupying the inherited property goes on a long awaited and much enjoyed killing spree. As the family's twisted motives unravel, the sisters discover a terror worse than death. All right, so a wild redneck family. 
Could be related to wrong turn from the way it sounds. I'm sure it's not, but whatever. All right, so that is row one, section one. These will definitely get smoother in time. I came up with this idea to just try and give you guys an idea of what movies I do have so that if you see something you want me to review, I'd be more than happy to do it. If you want to see anything more of these movies that are in this video, let me know. I'll also post that information for you. So that's going to do it. Like I said, row one, section one. Next week, I will put out row one, section two, and we'll take it from there, see how it goes, and we'll see if we can get this thing together a little better for you. All right, I'm going to get out of here. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like the video and you've been enjoying my content, please do me a huge favor. Click that subscribe button and then ring that notification bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day, and thank you for watching. Take care, folks. Be safe.